Thank you, uh, MC. Good morning. Good morning. Overseas and local participants. At this important regional symposium on land and property rights in the South Pacific. Professor Bob Dale and his colleagues from the UTS, Asia Pacific Center for Complex Rural Property Rights, <coughs> colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the government and the Ministry of Finance, Housing and Survey, I extend to all of you a very warm welcome. The participants and resource people who have come from beyond the Solomon Islands, I extend to you a particular warm welcome to our country. Like our Melanesia neighbors, the Solomon Islands is rich in culture, and as we are delivering, the discovery also very rich in mineral deposits. We are literally sitting on a gold mine, as well as vast undersea reserves of nickel, surface bauxite, and subterranean diamonds. Alloyed gold was first discovered by the Spanish explorer, Alvaro de Mendana, who came here in 1568 and subsequently named the Acapella the Solomon Islands after the probable wealth of the biblical King Solomon. The Solomon Islands have been inhabited by Melanesians for at least 50,000 years. As Melanesians, we place a very high cultural value on land. And for many, it is the basis of a substance lifestyle. Indeed, the land must be honored, respected and cared for responsibly to ensure that our children and our children's children and future generations can enjoy and be sus sustained by the land as we have. Western societies have only spoken of sustainable development for the last 25 years. Also, whereas Melanesians know that we belong to the land and have been good stewards for many generations. Since our independence in 1978, we have had to navigate sometimes stormy waters between Melanesian culture and values of those of Western materialism with its aspirations of ever increasing economic growth. Understanding this pluralism will be a central feature of this symposium. Over the next three days, the symposium participants will discuss property rights, climate change, <coughs> land resource compensation, property trusts, leases, and emerging property rights in carbon. These are all complex issues and for a government, they cut across several ministries. As a country that is literally sitting on a gold mine, we should not need to be reliant on overseas aid. Instead, we need to find better ways to make our land work for us, whilst we ensure it is not damaged or lost for future generations. We have not come to listen to a collective of conference papers. Instead, the roundtable workshop Format means that all of you will be working hard in the coming days as Professor Boydell and his colleagues facilitate the sessions. It is a wonderful opportunity for continuing professional development, which is the goal of the Commonwealth Association of Surveying and Land Economy, who initiate the event in association with the UTS. Asia Pacific Center for Crop complex real property rights and the planning, law and property rights group. With modest funding support from the Commonwealth Fund Foundation, I'm delighted that my government had been able to host this important symposium. This is part of NACRA policy in ensuring reforms in customary land turner system and finding the right model which brings maximum benefit to customary land one. Participants, Professor Boydell and team from the UTS, Asia Pacific Center for Complex Food Property Rights. Ladies and gentlemen, I now declare this symposium open. Thank you very much.
Honourable Deputy Prime Minister, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Madam Secretary, um, thank you so much for uh, your welcome address and gracing us with your, your presence today. Um, as the Permanent Secretary uh, said, and as you, you said in your opening speech, uh, we're dealing with a symposium today. We're not in a conference situation. We have some resources. We have some very uh, informed people who are used to dealing with land here in the Solomon Islands. Uh, and the opportunity of this symposium is to uh, actually allow all these participants to work together on actually trying to find new ways or solutions in taking forward uh, the ideas in dealing both with the state land, which some of them are involved with, uh, but also in customary land, which um, your, your ministry uh, is, um, is closely involved in through the, the Prime Minister's <coughs> Office and your role as uh, Minister of, of Home Affairs. Uh, as you have said, uh, you are a very wealthy uh, country in terms of your culture, uh, and also in terms of the resources which are uh, buried below the ground. What we hope we can do in the coming days is respond to, to the challenge you have laid down to us in your opening uh, address, um, Minister, to actually see if there are ways in which you can learn how to access your resources for the best advantage of customary landowners the best advantage of the state, because if the customary landowners benefit, then the state benefits. And if you can potentially use these resources to overcome um, the need for aid, uh, that you should be able to leverage, uh, if you use if you use contemporary methods, you should be able to leverage funding from your, your own resources, which, which are like buried below, below the ground. And to ensure that a better deal is received uh, for the country and for the customary landowners. The uh, conference has been made possible uh, through uh, the auspices, as you said, of the Commonwealth Association of <coughs> Surveying and Land Economists, which has a very long tradition, but it's wonderful that you have a regional president here in, uh, in your director of planning. Uh, <coughs> My own, my own centre has been able to uh, bring from uh, UTS myself, my, my Deputy Director, Professor John Sheehan, who is also uh, representing the International Academic Association of Planning, Law and Property Rights. Uh, we also have um, Mike McDermott, who is the, uh, the Vice President of uh, the Castle Region, and uh, my, my colleague, who is the, uh, the honorary associate with the uh, Asia Pacific uh, Centre for Complex Real Property Rights. Our little centre is very small, but it brings together people with different expertise, people as we have also gathered in the wider audience here today. We have people with legal experience, we have planning experience. Uh, well, I, like many of, of the people assembled in the room, is a graduate of. USP uh, in land management, uh, who has, has moved on to, to, to work and establish uh, a group that is um, customary land solutions to work in supporting customary landowners in building their capacity. So we hope, with your blessing and your, your, uh, your welcome opening, that we will be able to report back on some productive work in the coming days. And we very much appreciate uh, you gracing us with your presence this morning. I think we are probably uh, allowing the, uh, the Deputy Prime Minister to, uh, to leave uh, to the little further opportunities we've made with um, uh, some of my colleagues and we'll move into morning tea. But we will make a very prompt start after morning tea and get into the, uh, the hard work of the symposium.